Uh, <clears throat> but the idea is that if there's a problem in the economy, if there's a, perhaps a crisis, and by the way, the crisis usually comes because people at the bottom can't pay their bills. Well, people at, people at the bottom are out of jobs, right? People at the bottom have troubles. There's a crisis. The trickle down theory says you solve the crisis by giving money to the rich, who will then hire people, give them jobs, who will then, the money will trickle down from the rich to the rest of the population. It's never worked. We tried that in the 1920s. Led to crisis and depression. $700 billion is not going to trickle down to the people who need it. Instead of giving $700 billion to the financial institutions, take that $700 billion, give it directly to the people who need it. Give it to the people who are losing their homes. You see, And, and here, here's where history comes in. The New Deal faced an economic crisis. Did it turn to private enterprise? Well, it had already seen private enterprise fail. The so-called free market failed. The, the private business was not solving the problem. The government created millions of jobs. The government created millions of jobs in the 1930s. They have, and they put people to work and they pay them. They even put artists and musicians and theater people to work. They put young people to work. Instead of sending young people to war, they put young people into what they called CCC camps, Civil Conservation Corps. And these young people, uh, they built roads and they cleaned up rivers and lakes and uh, they constructed playgrounds and swimming pools. And they did constructive, the New Deal was, you know, they invoke the name of Roosevelt, but they, they don't talk about what Roosevelt, what was done in the New Deal. The government stepped in and said, Pri private enterprise is not going to do this. We're going to give money, jobs directly to people. That's what we need to do in this case. And we, and we need, we're going to need more than $700 billion because we're going to, we're going to have free health care to everybody. Free health care. And, they, you know, they, they have this in other countries, and it works quite well. They have this in countries poorer than us, and it worked quite well. But we need more money for this. Well, we have the money. We're spending $600 billion on the military. Oh, there's a lot of money there. And if we decide we're not going to be a war-making nation, we don't need a $600 billion military budget. <laughs> See. And... There are hundreds of billions, maybe trillions of dollars which have gravitated in the last 20 or 30 years to the upper 1% of the population. Do you know that? There's been a huge transfer of wealth from the bottom to the top. Not just, with, by the way, not just with the Bush administration, even with the Clinton administration. Even with the Kennedy administration, Johnson administration, the tax rate on the upper five, one percent got lower and lower. So there's a lot of money there if we change the tax system. And I assure you, if we change the tax system, those rich would not be poor. They just, instead of being super rich, they would just be rich, you see. And, uh, and there would be a lot of money left to do all these things that need to be done. Thanks. Yes. Thank you for being here, Mr. Zinn. My name is Buddy Moore. I'm an independent candidate for the U.S. Senate here in Colorado, and I hope you'll be able to help me out with something. Um, you've done a very good job of impeaching the honesty of the uh, government and pointing out the need to conjure up enemies for the government to fight. Hundreds of architects, engineers, uh, politicians, firefighters, and others are coming forward to say that the collapse of the Twin Towers on 9-11 was scientifically impossible and that the demolition of Building 7 was controlled demolition. Do you think this is an instance of false flag terrorism and will you stand with me and other politicians who are bringing this to the attention of the American public?
bring to the attention of the American public the idea that the government was behind the attacks? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry. I'm Did saying. Did I get that right? Yes, sir. I'm saying that the collapses of the Twin Towers were scientifically yeah, it, it, impossible it due some, to the fact that... It didn't that, happen the way they said it happened. Is that what you're saying? Obviously, but I believe that there's been a lot of complicity and duplicity, and it, this issue needs to be brought forth to the American public. Will you help me? Will I help you? Yes, sir. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, frankly, I, I've listened to a lot of the argument about, you know, the... the and of course, as I told you, I never believe the government, or rarely believe the government. The government occasionally tells the truth, okay? But uh, do I believe the government version of what happened? Well, I'm skeptical. Do I believe that the government was in a conspiracy to do this? I don't know. I don't know enough, enough about the situation. And the truth is, I don't care that much about it. That's past. I, I don't really. That's, to, me, to me, that's a diversion. To me, to me, that whole argument that people are engaged in about was the government behind a conspiracy to blow up these Twin Towers, to me, that's a diversion from what we really have to do and deal with the fact that whatever, whoever was behind 9-11, the government took advantage of that to take us to war and to put us on a disastrous course. And it's that war, those wars, that disastrous course that we have to deal with. Now, I don't want to go back into a controversy that I think is an endless controversy and it just gets in the way of dealing with the immediate situation. How could we possibly forget then the, the Nazi criminals and others? How can we what? I'm How sorry. could you let the Nazi criminals get away then? I mean, the, the, when you say we shouldn't go back, we're allowing these same criminals to continue to run the country. We have to stop them. Stop who? I'm sorry. I, I